So as you can see, I'm here in Word and I've zoomed out so you can see all three pages in this document working from left to right is one, two and three. What you might notice that's a bit different about this is that this page is in portrait, page number one. Page number two is in landscape because I wanted to put a table in and it was going to be a little bit too wide to fit on a page that was in portrait. I've gone back to the portrait orientation in page three. So you can mix them up. Some people have asked me, can you actually have one page with both orientations and you can't quite simply if you were to print it out. Your paper can't be portrait and landscape at the same time. So they have to be individual pages. And I can have multiple landscape pages. I could have continued on with more landscape pages. I didn't have to go back to portrait. I've had more portrait and I could have really mixed it up. So how do I do this? Well, I'm working here in Word 2010, but this works in all versions of Word, whether or not it's on Windows or a Mac. So I'm just going to get a new document. I'm just going to go into File. Let's go to New and get a blank document. And here it is. I've just got that one page. I'm just going to type in this is the first page. And now I want to put in a table. And the way to do this is to go into Page Layouts and what I'm going to do is go into this page setup group here and in the bottom right hand corner just down here is a little square with a little arrow and if I click on it I get a dialog box for page setup and you'll see that is similar in Word 2007 and Word 2013 as well. If you're using a Mac or Word 2003 you need to go into file and choose page setup. The dialog boxes in Windows versions are all very similar to this and on the Mac you'll get to see as well that you just have to choose your orientation as well from here. So I'm going to choose the orientation as landscape here. Down the bottom here, this is the important bit, apply to, it says whole document. My other option is this point forward. When I click on OK it's going to insert another page. As I said you can't have two orientations on the same page. When I do, here it is. I can now insert a table. Let's go to here. I'm now going to finish with that table. So now I've got a table in here. What I want to do is now change it so that I've got another page and that's going to be in portrait. So again, back to page layout, back to the page setup group, down to this little button in the corner, this little square with an arrow on it back to my dialog box and you'll see here I can now change it to portrait. Now down here because I've now got these two different portrait and landscape I now have two different sections. So this is one section here and that's the one that I'm currently on. And you'll see I've now got three options. This section, this point forward and whole document. Whole document will obviously change everything to the same thing. This point forward is going to insert a new page and take me onto a portrait version of it. And this section actually allows me now, if I just choose that and click on OK, you'll see it's put it into portrait view. That's not what I want. I want to actually change back to portrait. So I'm going to go back to landscape for this section. So you can change it afterwards. You don't have to do it at the time. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to go back to my page setup, that little icon there and I'm now going to do it from this point forward, change it to portrait, click on OK and you can see this is the third page. Now this is the same whether you're using Word 2007, 2010 or 2013. If you're using Word 2003 then you would go into File, Page Setup and you'll see the dialog box is very similar. Same again if you're using a Mac you need to go into File, and choose page setup to get to it. But basically they all take you to that same very similar dialog box. In Windows they look more similar, on the Mac a little bit different but you'll see what I mean. You can change the orientation to portrait or landscape and then you have to click on the settings and choose Microsoft Word and from there you can choose the same options, this section, this point forward, a whole document and then click on OK. So very similar. But as you can see, you can put in landscape or portrait into a Word document.